motor burning. Someone's burning a motor, not sure who, but someone's going to go home today very disappointed. Yeah, I'm starting to begin the smell, and maybe we'll see the magic smoke. I'm definitely getting, I'm not sure what car, the cars are, are kind of tight up right now. I don't know, high on my list of possibilities is the Lego car. I hope it's not the Lego car. There's a lot of plastic in that car. That's a lot of things to burn up. Driver change, driver change, number three. Everyone comes in. The last pit round was very calamitous. The cheering for Lego is stronger than ever, and Lego is in a solid second to last place. Can they hold second to last? The catastrophe. First one in, first one out. First one out of clean pit stop. Herbie, love buck moving in. We also have Cartastrophe, their second car. Patrick, interesting. Cartastrophe having two cars, they stagnated their pit stops so that they didn't have both of them stop at the same time. Very, Very good nice. use of strategy. That was a, this is a clean pit, clean, clean pit, and I'm saying no incidences in the pit lane. Yeah, this is looking really good. And a nice stop for Huminator, which is full bore now. That was a fast exit. Must have new batteries. It looks like the Phantom pit car. is coming out now. And the Jurassic car is back out there, Patrick. Transponder nice. switched over again. Cartastrophe now only five laps down on Phantom. He's really caught up. <laughs> well, he's got it. Time's going to begin to run out, Patrick. We got music coming from the Jurassic Park car. <laughs> Great shell. Didn't even pick it up. His teammate just noped it out. The Lego car still in the pits. Oh, and it looks like Herbie's being switched over. Is there, are there, are there issues with Herbie? It's being switched to mud cuts. I don't know. Herbie, I, is the transponder for Herbie on that? I think they did, Patrick. Nice. I think they switched it over. <laughs> yes, it did. And she says it's scary. A tiny puppy is in she's the track. I don't believe she's ever driven muck cuts before. This is her first lap on this car. She's never tested this car, so let's all look at this. No, no, she has a nice solid seat in Herbie. On that one, she's just sitting on a pillow. It's comfy, but there's nothing holding her in. She's got to be very close, careful on those turns. And lean, it. yep, she's already leaning. Using a good strategy. Using the tried and true Karen Kerbeel method of turning, which is using your entire body weight to lean into the corners like that. Oh, Huminator looking to pass Herbie there. Huminator yeah, on the inside. Thinking. Oh, Herbie there. Huminator looking to move himself up to seventh place. So who registers as Herbie putting down laps, and they're currently batting, battling with Huminator. <laughs> Because of that fix Huminator had to do, they're as high as third place, but they plummeted. But right now, Omaha Maker Group is your third place team. They have kept out of the most trouble, and it's been paying off for them. Oh, Lego trying to get some votes. Yes, teams, I mean, uh, fans out there, be sure to vote. Get your Moxie votes in. Rapid charge, the Lego team. More fireworks in the back of the track, it looks like. Who can run those over without any problem with that? It is looking really good right now for our top three. They have been able to fight through a lot. Omaha Mayor Group's kit car was as low as eighth place and has crawled its way up to third. Minecart has been hovering around sixth and has moved up to fourth. Herbie and Huminator were the ones that lost out the most, and Fubar, well, Fubar was as high as fourth, but now it's all the way back down to ninth. We're going to run through the standings right now. First place is Phantom in the black Roadster. Second place is Cartastrophe in the orange junk. Third place is Kit Car, the Knight Rider. Fourth place is Minecart. Fifth place is Jurassic Rover. Third place is Mark III, that Wedge of Cheese. Seventh place is Huminator, the black Humvee. Eighth place is Herbie, which is actually the puppy car out there right now. Ninth place is Fubar, the green pickup truck. Tenth place is the Lego car. And for 
unfortunately, duct tape and zip ties, your Kansas City favorite still in the pits and in last place. But they're still working, Patrick. They have not given up. Nobody has retired in this race. Everyone has gotten back out. We have everyone. Oh, and Leo Dog spoke too soon. But duct tape and zip ties hasn't put a lap down in 20 minutes. This is getting really interesting. And by that I mean the Lego car is still in, pe in one piece. It's still going. And Mario throwing green, green shells out. <laughs> Mario is fairly androgynous right now. Oh yeah, it's what you got Luigi. It's the, is that the lone hacker who's driving? No, it isn't. It's someone else. No, it's the lone hacker's hat, which is where all their moxie comes from. It's very powerful hat. The night rider, now the lone ranger. Looks like Jurassic Park card's got his sound system going. Patrick, you pointed this out to me, and I'm very embarrassed to say it took me this long to realize that the Danger Mouse car is supposed to look like a wedge of cheese. Yeah, it finally dawned on me. Why would a mouse drive cheese, though? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, nice. Sharon said they're taking their lunch with them. I'll accept that answer as completely factual and question nothing further. Meanwhile, Danger Mouse is in sixth place. Danger Mouse, ladies and gentlemen, is not a complete car yet. They, the, uh, the controller and motor setup they have is not the one that they'll be, be bringing to Detroit in July. They are currently testing that car. And it's a pretty good test because it's in six right now. Not too bad. That poor Lego car is just falling apart more and more with each lap. I'll be impressed to see if we can actually finish this race. We hope that the Lego car can finish this race. Green ride again at the start finish. Ladies and gentlemen, let me give you a little bit more background of the Lego car. Um, this is their first race ever this weekend. Their main driver goes by Raid Reactor, and they're running a 12 volt uh, system with uh, just sealed lead acid batteries. And they're using one of our 125 amp fuses, which is one of our odd ones. But these, these guys are really great. They're from Union High School in Tulsa. <laughs> And uh, yeah, they are FRC alums. And as you know, that FRC is very different from power racing. It's a very different sport. But they are having a good time out there, and we really got to give them hands for putting a lot of effort. They're really trying. They just put this car together. And even if it shows, it shows that they kept going. And they're racing box to box right now with mine cars. Those two boxes have been spending a lot of time together, I've noticed being very friendly and overtaking. Meanwhile, Huminator making up for lost time. The Huminator car, which had to fix its U-joints in the pits and successfully did so, was as high as second place and, and fell all the way to ninth from that error. He's moved up to seventh. Scott is their driver. He, they've been racing since 2014. They got their first win in their hometown race. And they also organized the Fort Wayne Maker, Maker Fair out there, so a nice little fact about them. Phantom Power Racing passing five cars in one turn. That was that was pretty impressive. Wow. Oh, it looks like the green show went on into the audience there. Where are my drivers to keep all projectiles inside the track? That means one of our wonderful fans can take their crushing Take them out, the that's right, oh! oh. He took out the Knight Rider. Put the Knight Rider car, spur on the nose. See who else is gonna pick it up next. The minecart might go for it, no, the minecart's distracted. It's kinda hard to reach out in the minecart, it's fairly well contained. Poobar will probably collect it, Poobar hits everything. Oh, uh, Princess Peach is out. Look, looking for Moxie Birds for Cartastrophe. Oh, now she's getting the green shell. Uh, Cartastrophe from Illinois. 
looking for moxie boats there. That's right, this is their first season, they got multiple cars in. In fact, they have the record for the most points ever scored in a single weekend. And the most costume changes, I think, too. Five minutes to the last driver change. Five minutes to the last driver change. That's right, folks. We are coming down to the last bit of this endurance race. If you're just joining us, these cars have been racing for about 40 minutes now. Right, Patrick? Yeah, they've, they've been racing for almost an hour now. Yeah. Oh, no! Oh, the middle! It's Fubo! Oh, he's good, he's fine. He's back on the way. Just got a little collected in the tire. <laughs> oh, Minecraft, Minecraft was able to grab that uh, turtle. Nice. Oh, and a big caution! Oh, oh, yeah. Big caution now! Oh, oh, back oh no, that's, that's now. Now. grinding that, now underneath. That is a very bad sound coming from them. <laughs> so sad. Alright, we clear? It looks like yeah, it's back underway. Back underway. The Lego car is still going strong. But it has been beaten into submission. I think just about every car out there has hit it once. It is a magnet for feet. No one's going for that green shell out there. Oh, yep, the Astri's got it. The Danger Mouse car. Danger Mouse car has got, that was great form in that first few turns. Really carrying some good momentum there. That rolling chicane, that is the Lego car. And we're getting to our final driver change for this race. Three minutes to the last driver change. Three minutes to the last driver change. As I was saying right before that, that incident that interrupted me, if you just joined us, folks, this is, you are in the, the twilight moments of our 75-minute endurance race. We have just crossed the hour point. We're almost to the hour point right now. You, this is what I like to call the favorite, the happy hour. It's happy for everyone but the drivers, because this is the part where all the cars really start breaking. They've begun to break already. We've had Hominator's U joints famously breaking in the middle of the track and then being welded back on. We've seen Lego car break more times than not, but it still keeps going. Kansas City has been in the pits for the past 30 minutes, but is still intending to finish. We've had pit stops for fixing and repairs from catastrophe. Omaha Maker Groups have made some slight fixes. Rubar had to pit for a few things getting stuck underneath their car because they kept running them over. I, I just learned that the Lego car has burned out their motor controller. They're now using a... Oh, no! <laughs> Are they all on and off? Uh, yeah, well, they're using a relay to, to oh, no. go because their oh, motor no. controller burnt out. Oh, oh no! no. Oh, no. Lego, Lego car. car! Poor Lego car! No joy for Lego. They right, lost. I mentioned their motor problems. They got something even worse. Any teams out there that have a controller for them, ask them what they need. We want to see the Lego car finish there this they race. Go. Really unfortunate. All right, looks like we're clear. Might have to go to pits immediately again. <laughs> we got one minute to driver change. One minute to driver change. This is the last driver change. These cars were built for less than 500 hours using discarded kids' toys. Nothing but hunks of junk racing around for glory and for your votes on the Moxie board. That Moxie board going out there. Your votes right over there. Points. That Moxie board is right there. If your favorite votes in, you can vote for as many teams and as often as you like. Patrick is a... Uh uh, Twisted Plastic remained in fifth place, or have they been able to overtake? Twisted Plastic solidly in fifth. They haven't moved up or down. Been holding it, holding steady. Yeah, but they do have the Mark III hot on their tails. They might be able, they might lose this place in the pitch. How far is fourth and third from them? Uh, third is one lap ahead of them, and uh, no, the mine card is one lap ahead of them, and uh, oh, okay. Mark III is on the same lap. 
Wow. All right, so really tight for third, fourth, and fifth right now. Meanwhile, that driver change any second now. The last driver change of the race. Yep. The final for 10 Ten minutes. minutes. This will be it. The last driver change. This will be a sprint to the end. The last 15 minutes. Yep, this will decide it all, ladies and gentlemen. And catastrophe. Driver changes. Last, last driver one. Change. Cartastri, the first one in. One comes in. Phantom also in. Those are your first and second place. Cartastri getting a new battery. Looks this like is critical, Patrick. Who gets out first? Going to decide a few things. Right well, now, it's Phantom that now. has to just maintain. It's Kartashri that has to rush. That's the difference, folks. Yep. And Kartashri is out first. That's going to gain them a little more time, but they only have 15 minutes to make up a lot of ground. Now, that is a lot of ground to make up. Yeah, I don't know. And Kartashri looks slow. I don't know what it is, but he's yeah, not sure what's going on. And Phantom's back underway. He's complaining that his battery is flat. Did they switch the wrong set or something? They are setting on their controller. I'm not sure, but that is bad news for second place. For Captain, he just doesn't have the juice anymore. Oh no. So sad. They're not sure what's, what's wrong. So sad. Our second place is now in trouble, which means third place is going to catch them up. Omaha Maker Group, ladies and gentlemen, are now beginning to close in on second place. Oh, and over in the Lego pit, the car is less Lego and more duct tape. Bowling it from Kansas City. And Kansas City might be able to finish this race. Meanwhile, catastrophe's pulling in. Kansas City hasn't done a lap in almost a half an hour. Patrick, second place is in jeopardy now. And and a kid car could take advantage That's of right. catastrophe's mistakes, they but they have, have to push it ahead of them. They really have to push it if they expect to catch them. Meanwhile, catastrophe's trying to catch Phantom. At the right. time, catastrophe's not going to be able to catch first. He's going to have to hold on to second now. That's right. This is Phantom's race to lose. They are putting themselves in a phenomenal.